I'm going to talk about cracking from structural loading. I'm going to talk about why it happens and what you can do to make those cracks small. My name is Tyler Lay, and I love concrete. So why do cracks happen? Well, when your tensile stress are greater than your tensile capacity, you will get cracking inside your concrete. And one of the biggest weaknesses of concrete is that it's not very strong in tension. So when we have loads that are placed on the outside of our structure, they can actually cause compression in one zone and tension in the other when it's in bending. And again, the tension is the problem area. So as these loads get bigger and then bigger, eventually they'll get large enough that they'll cause a crack to happen. So why are these cracks bad? Well, they provide a direct path for outside chemicals to come into your concrete and reach your rebar. They are bad for durability. We need to try to avoid them. So what can we do about this? Well, one thing we could do is we could make our concrete beams way thicker. They would be way stronger. And this is exactly what the Romans did. Here's a Roman structure. We zoom in, getting a little bit closer, we can see the beams are extremely deep. The depth of the beams are about the same size as the spacing between these two columns. That is a deep beam. But in Roman structures, they didn't use reinforcing steel inside their concrete. So this is what they had to do to keep it from cracking. So why don't people do this? Well, because of money, it's too expensive to make your structures this way. So what else could you do? Well, another thing you could do is you could move the supports in. You could move them closer to the load as I'm showing in this cartoon. But what does that look like? Well, again, if we go back to Roman concrete, one thing they did is they made their columns pretty close. How far apart? About four humans could fit in between. That's around 10 feet or just over three meters. That's pretty close spacing. That's not what people want. They want big wide open windows. They want big spaces between their columns so they can spread out and do all kinds of cool stuff inside their buildings and structure. So why don't people do this? Well, it's pretty simple. Money! It's too expensive. It's way too expensive to do this. So what can we practically do? Well, rebar, the reinforcing steel that we use inside of our concrete, it can help keep our cracks small. And smaller rebar that are actually closely spaced together will do a much better job at keeping the cracks small than larger rebar far apart. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I've got two rebar spacings. Both of them provide the same area per width, but the one on the top is larger bars, larger spacing, and the smaller one, smaller bars, tighter spacing. Again, both of these would have the exact same capacity, but the bottom one, the crack widths, would be about 50% smaller in size. Because again, these smaller, closely spaced bars do a much better job keeping the crack small. So again, why don't people do this? Money! It's too expensive. That's what they say, at least. There's some actually really cool technology that can help out with it. We can use this thing called welded rebar mats. Now this is rebar, the same deformed rebar. It's actually pre-welded together. Okay, this is deformed bar. And people can pick it up and put it in place. It's already tied, it's already ready to go, and you can get very small bars very closely spaced together. This is not welded wire mesh. This is deformed rebar that's welded together. You can also use something called rollout reinforcement. Here's some gentlemen actually kicking it out, and here is a movie of it in action. These guys are working together to roll this bars out like carpet, and it's ready to go. Again, you can get very small bars, very tightly spaced with very low amounts of labor. Now you may pay a little bit more for the rebar rolled up like that, that's true, but maybe it's worth it. So why don't people do this? Well, they will if you ask for it. If you're the engineer and you ask for these bars that are small and tightly spaced, they will get it for you. You might pay a little bit more, but it might be worth it. Close rebars, help 
keep our cracks small and they will improve our durability. And if you have external concrete, concrete that's gonna be exposed to the weather, that is a very, very big deal. It allows you to also to change the bar sizes to match the loading of your structure and reduce the amount of overall steel that you use. This can save money. In summary, it is not practical to design concrete structures to not crack. It just is not practical. Instead, use the proper rebar size and spacing, and this will do a great job of helping keep your cracks small. Hey, thank you so much for watching this. Do you like concrete? I bet you might if you've watched this video. If you know somebody else out there that you think would like this video or like any of my other videos, please let them know about it. Spread the great word of concrete. Thanks so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment, subscribe, bye.